ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു നല്ല നാടൻ സ്പീഡ് അൺകട്ട് അൺഎഡിറ്റഡ് റാജിന്ദഗി ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ആർ റാദർ വെൽക്കം ടു യെറ്റ് അനദർ സീരീസ് വിച്ച് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലോഞ്ച് ടുഡേ സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി എ ബ്രൈഡൽ സീരീസ് so i have planned a hindu bridal series where we will have probably three or four looks three looks anyways we have so i have planned a haldi look then we have a temple a traditional hindu bridal look and a colorful hindu bridal look as well but the makeups and all those things we will keep it to a minimal level wherein everyone will get can be inspired and it is easy to do it so yeah we will start the bridal series so as part of the bridal series for the first one i have chosen a haldi look so haldi ceremony is actually um, i don't know if it was done i am from southern part of india and i am not really sure if haldi function was there traditionally in the ancient times but i've seen a lot of north indians do the haldi function which is a very colorful and very fun filled function so in this function haldi is the yeah here uh, hindi version of turmeric and turmeric is a medicinal uh, fruit or rather whatever you medicinal plant turmeric is a medicinal plant um the roots of which we will use we'll grind it or rather we will um uh we will dry it and then we'll crush it and then grind it and then we get a powder that's the haldi powder this haldi powder is actually very good for wounds and then it is also enhances your skin color that's how it is treated so the day before you apply haldi mixed with some sandal wood sandal and you apply it on the bride's face and body so that her face and body brightens up or rather it has a glow it's not to enhance your color or to make you pure white it's not something that whitens up you but it brings in a glow so this was a tradition and in this day as haldi or turmeric is yellow in color the bride also dresses up in yellow color and then she will have flower jewelries and all those things so this is how the haldi function is done and also you apply haldi not by your hands but then you take up the mango leaves and then you clean those mango leaves and then using the mango leaves you apply the haldi there might be so many reasons so that your hands might have a lot of germs and then mango leaves has its own medicinal benefits probably because of which you use mango leaves so that is it so today for the haldi look i have created my own outfit it's a very simple outfit because it's bright yellow in color i have chosen a mango yellow and bright yellows are not a color for everyone right you do not wear bright yellows on a regular basis or for um regular functions but uh if you want to use this because it's a haldi function so i have uh, created the outfit from scratch and then i've paired it with a blouse ready made blouse which i've bought from misho so you'll see the look and then i'll give you all the explanation of how i've created this look and how affordable it is and it's a palazzo overcoat look that i'm creating here so let's see the haldi look and come back very soon for the details of it
welcome back <laughs> so this is my haldi costume so this is a do it yourself from scratch overcoat and palazzo pant and this blouse i i think you have already seen this i bought it from misho so it's from misho and uh, it's a very 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 beautiful blouse so this is how i styled it and this jewelry this jewelry i bought it from a very local store nearby which is called as navneet collection and this is gorgeous so it has this yellow crystal beads and then this beautiful beautiful huge flower also in this mang tikka if you see there is a bead chain using which you can attach it and since it's a blue blouse sorry green blouse i've used a green bindi and for the eyes it's a glittery yellow eye makeup light yellow and then a pink shade of a lipstick and i hope you like this haldi look and this is so very 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 easy to make and style because this is available in all your local local stores and also it's available in all the e-commerce sites that we have it's available in misho it's available in amazon and a lot of other places flipkart and a lot of other places all the e-commerce sites also there are there is another variety wherein you don't have this choker or you don't have this pearl beads but you have a long um long um lace kind of lace kind of a material and then you have these um, <clears throat> flowers in it so that's also one thing which i personally don't don't fancy probably so i liked this one and i took this one which is good and i hope this outfit also makes sense for haldi because bright yellows bright yellows are not a color for everyone right not everyone like to wear bright yellows but for haldi we are supposed to wear it so why why give away that much of an effort and money on a single dress which you're not going to wear any time from now probably and you want that very stylish also if you want an overcoat palazzo pants set it does cost you a lot of money it it will cost you a lot of money so it is simply easy i took two sarees or rather one saree a uh, full saree which costed me around 350 rupees and because i know how to stitch and my sister does too she stitched this for me so the total amount that i've spent is 199 for this blouse then this overcoat and palazzo and the lining included so it is 300 plus a uh, 100 rupees lining 400 and then this one is 350 so it's a outfit for haldi outfit for less than 1000 rupees which is a great deal <laughs> and i hope you get inspired by this and you do your haldi look as well so i'll see you with my next series our next episode of the wedding series very 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 soon hindu bridal series coming up <laughs> so until the next time bidding adieu i'll see you very very soon until then bye bye